Solar is a very expensive purchase. People want to do research and get it right. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about my experience buying from Tesla um, and what that was really like. Like I said, I am a real customer. Um, this is a picture of my garage where everything was installed. As you can see, it looks great. I think it does anyway. Um, and in this video, we're going to take a close look at the areas where Tesla actually wins um, hands down, um, some areas where it's kind of a toss up, and then some areas where actually um, the competition may be better. My name's Scott Allison, and uh, if you do decide to go ahead and order with Tesla, do use my referral link. You'll get $500 off. I will also get a credit. And I just want to say um, I'm not affiliated with Tesla in any way. I am just uh, a customer and a satisfied customer, actually. So let's look at it. Well, obviously, um, cost is, is, is a big factor, um, arguably the most important factor, factor and uh, Tesla clearly wins. Um, other companies can be as much as twice the price, which is kind of incredible. And I'll tell you um, how to understand quotes and the differences between equipment, efficiencies, and warranties, um, which may explain some of the difference, but in many cases, um, it actually doesn't. Okay, so these are real examples from July of 2023. Um, I took uh, Florida as an example. Prices do vary by state. So um, Tesla are currently charging $2.23 per watt. That's how the industry charges. Um, that's based on the size of your installation. And these are real quotes that I found um, online, recent ones in Florida. Uh, one uh, almost, uh, well, more than twice the price. Kind of shocking, honestly. Okay, so one thing that can affect the price um, is the performance guarantee from the solar panels. Solar panels degrade slowly over time. And so manufacturers give a guarantee that say in 25 years time, you'll still get, and it's usually somewhere between 80% and 90% of the rated output. So, um, you know, if you use cheaper panels, um, the, the performance guarantee will be less uh, over time and the more expensive ones typically are better. Often there's actually only a few percent between panels. So definitely something worth checking when you get a quote, go and look up what the performance guarantee is for the panels that have been selected. Okay, another um, reason that people talk about panels and why it might be worth paying more. So. Uh, it is true that some panels uh, produce more power per square inch. Um, that's called efficiency. Uh, it doesn't really matter, um, except in the situation where you have a very small roof and you're trying to maximize and get as much power. Uh, but if you have a big roof and a simple roof without lots of awkward things that they have to you know, plan around, um, panel efficiency doesn't matter. If you can throw up more panels, um, then it doesn't matter uh, really how efficient they are. So that's something uh, to bear in mind as well. Okay, what about the financing cost? Now, I ordered my uh, Tesla solar install uh, actually two years ago. They were doing a phenomenal rate back then of 0.99%. Sadly, those days are long gone. Um, but uh, I checked today, um, they were offering 6.99%. Um, which is obviously way higher than, than when I purchased, um, but uh, the competition uh, does tend to be more. So I think this is maybe narrowed, the gap has narrowed somewhat. These are just rates I found today on Investopedia. Um, obviously you want to pay close attention uh, to the rates if you're gonna uh, finance, which most people do, because solar is um, you know, quite, quite pricey. So um, to summarize, yes, up to twice as expensive per watt. Um, one thing uh, that you also need to know is when you finance, other solar companies will charge you a finance fee. That's not the interest rate. This is actually a fee of usually a few thousand dollars on top um, just for the privilege of financing. Tesla don't charge those. So that's a saving as well. Um, and yeah, uh, other companies usually have higher interest rates, although that may have, um, you know, that gap I think has narrowed a bit. So again, if you do go ahead and order, use my code. Um, you'll also find it in the description of this video. Okay, so one other reason that I chose Tesla was I did want the peace of mind of having a uh, battery backup. If there is an outage, it's nice 
for your lights to stay on um, when everyone else's are, are off. And that's what the Powerwall gives you. I think most people are buying it as an emergency backup for that peace of mind. Um, but in my case, I also used it for uh, time of use rate plan arbitrage. And uh, if you want to know more about that, uh, see my first year video where I explain that in some more detail. So one reason to get a power wall. People don't realize this. When you have solar panels only, the power goes out when the grid goes down. That's not what people expect, but that's how it works. It's possible these days to actually um, uh, get it connected in a different way, but that's that's pretty rare. For, for the most part, you need batteries to keep the lights on um, when uh, when the grid is down. Of course, they are pretty expensive. Um, they're between about eight and $10,000 each from Tesla, um, but they can be quite a bit more expensive uh, when you go through other companies. Um, most solar companies will uh, be able to supply um, power walls or an equivalent product, um, but I've seen the price as much as 50% higher. Um, one other reason that I went ahead with the power walls my uh, utility actually offered a $3,000 incentive for installing battery storage. Why? Because it helps them out, helps the grid out during peak hours. Um, so check if your state has something similar. One really important thing to know, um, I think everybody knows that there's a 30% federal tra tax credit when you install solar. It also applies to power walls and other battery storage systems. So that's a really nice um, you know, discount. Uh, uh, and, and makes the whole system, uh, you know, that bit uh, more affordable. Okay, one other benefit of, te of Tesla, um, they do offer um, really quite nice looking panels. I know some people don't care about this, but if you have a single story house and you're going to put panels on the front, um, you may be more, uh, you know, uh, care more about what they, they actually look like. Tesla always uses black panels, so there's none of those silver grids that you may see. And they also install a nice um, edge around uh, the bottom and the sides as well, which just makes it look a bit more slick. This is actually a picture from my roof of um, one of the pods of our panels. Um, I actually never see this. This photo was really difficult to take. I, I, I did it with a drone. Um, but yeah, we don't actually see our panels, but I know some people care a lot. Of course, Tesla is a Silicon Valley tech company, so they do have great software. Their app is awesome. Um, you know, if you go ahead with Tesla or in fact any um, solar company, you're going to be checking the data multiple times a day if you're like me, because I want to see exactly what's going on. So any moment I can see what's happening, how much power the, the panels are producing, how much the home is using, what's going to the grid. Um, I can see, you know, daily charts or annual charts, see uh, how well we're doing. Um, and I can also see how much um, energy we've actually generated ourselves. And, and this, this number is actually almost uh, within a few dollars of what I calculated separately from my, uh, my electricity bills. So um, yeah, I, I was uh, really impressed with the app. Um, it's been great. Now let's take a look at some uh, areas where, where Tesla don't do so well. So they're not super flexible about how the system is designed. This is uh, the diagram that I got from Tesla and I went back and forth with them for some weeks trying to get them to design something different, um, which they pretty much refused to do. Um, on the right uh, is a quote I got from another company um, and you can see there's a lot more panels. So for example, here, this is a, a, a porch area. Tesla refused to install on secondary st uh, structures. Um, I wanted to get some panels um, up here, which um, Tesla were reluctant to do. And in the end, um, they found that they didn't have room to, to put them there. So yeah, um, if you're wondering what the, the big gaps are in the roof, these uh, pieces here are actually uh, solar pool heat heating, a completely separate system which contains water. If you want to know more about that, I'm going to publish a video soon on that. It is the cheapest way to um, heat your pool. So yeah, Tesla are not um, very uh, flexible. They tend to be very conservative about what's allowed. There are strict rules about how much space can go between the top of the roof, the side of the roof, and the bottom of the roof, um, and your solar panels for fire safety reasons. Tesla will follow that to the letter of the law. Local companies tend to know what they can get away with, and so they may give you 
um, a, a few more panels. So, you know, if like me, you have a complex roof and a roof that doesn't have much space on it. Um, other companies may be, may be a better choice. Okay, what about the warranty? Well, um, this is something you want to check carefully uh, because this is going to var vary from company to company. Um, Tesla, 10-year uh, warranty. Uh, they call it a comprehensive warranty, including your power wall. Uh, they offer at least 10 years for labor. I don't know what at least means, um, but that's actually from the, the contract, at least the contract I signed a couple of years back. Um, the panels are 12 years. The inverter is strangely 12 and a half years. Um, it's quite common actually to see 25 year warranties in those. So yeah, um, the warranties may may not be as good with Tesla, but again, definitely something to, to check carefully. So one other crucial piece of equipment, apart from the panels is inverters. And there's two types of inverters, a string inverter, which is the one on the right, um, which is essentially a large central inverter. It either goes on the outside of your house or sometimes in your uh, garage like mine, or you can have what are called micro inverters where each panel has an inverter on the back of it. Um, there's, <laughs> it's kind of a religious debate. Um, you know, micro inverters are great if you have a lot of shading on your roof, if there's a lot of trees around casting shadows and the output of each panel will be maximized with microinverters. If you don't have that um, concern, string inverters are probably better, um, likely more reliable. Um, they're not sitting on the roof in, you know, potentially 150 degree heat. And if, if it does break down, it's a heck of a lot easier to get someone out and, and replace or repair an inverter that's uh, on the wall at ground level than it is to have somebody have to go up on the roof and start removing panels. So, um, yeah, that's those are the two ch two types, um, and you will you will see um, companies try and spin it one way or the other. Uh, I don't think there's a right answer really. Um, it's just two different ways of doing it. Okay, one last thing: um, uh, Tesla do not install a critter guard, uh, which is uh, uh, usually some screening around the edge of the panels, which prevents. Uh, birds um, and other animals from going underneath your panels. These are actually pictures from my roof uh, about a couple months after an install. And you can see here in the left, there's a uh, nest. There's a whole bunch of pigeons living under there. Um, this is a picture on the right of a pigeon ducking under the, the panels. So um, I went ahead uh, with a, a pest abatement company to, to put screening around the edges um, and that cost an extra $900. So something uh, to be aware of. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do order with Tesla, get $500 off with my link. And uh, if you want to find out more about how my first year and uh, whether it was all worth it, uh, watch this uh, other video as well. Thank you. My name is Scott.